I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on logarithms. We are given 2 to the power of a equals to 5 and 2 to the power of b equals to 3. What is log to the base 3 of 10? You are given 4 choices. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's rewrite what is given to us. We have 2 to the power of a equals to 5. So that really means that we could write this as if I take log to the base 2 on both the sides, that is to say log 2, 2 to the power of a, we get log 2, 5. So this is a is equals to log of 5 to the base 2, right? Similarly, we can write the expression for 2 to the power of b equals to 3 as if I take log to the base 2, we get log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of b equals to log to the base 2 of 3 and that is b is equals to log to the base 2 of 3. What we really want to find is log to the base 3 of 10. Now that could be written as log to the base 3 of 2 times 5 or I could write this as log to the base 3 of 2 plus log to the base 3 of 5. Now what is log to the base 3 of 2? We know log to the base 2 of 3 is b. Now if you know the properties, uh, we could write this as log to the base 3 of 2 of 1 over b, right? So that is a relation. I'll provide you a link which will show you the proof for this. Well, if you know, you could straight away write log to the base 3 of 2 as 1 over b. Now, how to write log to the base 3 of 5? So, what we can do is, we know a is log to the base 2 of 5. We can change this base, right? So, let's change uh, this base. We could write this as log to the base, we want 3 as the base, 3 of 5, divided by log to the base 3 of 2, right? So likewise, and this is equal to a for us. Now we know what log to the base 3 of 2 is, right? Log to the base 3 of 2 times, so we can cross multiply this. So from here, we know a times log to the base 3 of 2 equals to log to the base 3 of 5. Now log 3 of 2 is 1 over b, right? So we could write this as a over b, right? So we could write this as a over b. So I could replace log to the base 3 of 5 as equal to a over b. So that gives us 1 plus a over b. Now that is our option b here. Right. So, same as a plus 1 over b, right? So, with change of base, you can actually uh, solve this question. It's a very interesting question. I'd like you to go through this once again, try to understand the strategy. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.